Whether they're looking to start a career or just looking for a change of scenery, one question our viewers ask again and again is how do you become a gemologist? So after writing response after response, it suddenly occurred to us, hey, we make videos. On today's episode, I'm gonna give you the inside scoop on what it takes to start earning your loot privileges in the totally glamorous world of gemology. We'll look at resources, accreditation programs, even job possibilities. No experience required. Let's get started. First, let's say you're not quite ready to take the plunge into an all-out education program. You want to dip your toe into the gemology waters and see if this really is the thing for you. Well, there are plenty of places to do that. In fact, you're looking at one. We've got all kinds of videos on our channel about gems and gemology. We try to make it fun and accessible for everyone from beginners to pros. If you haven't watched a bunch of our videos yet, I'd recommend you do that ASAP. Okay, shameless plug over. If you wanna take the next step on your gemological journey, you may need to take drastic action. You may need to open a book. One of the cool things about gemology is that while we're still arguing the finer points of gem classification and learning new things about how they form, people have been writing about these same stones since ancient times. There's a whole world of gem literature out there, and while we don't necessarily recommend that you spend days poring over Pliny's natural history, recent years have seen the publication of several reference works that are great for the budding gemologist. And of course, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know how much we love the Sisk Gemology Reference. It's a beautifully stunning and comprehensive work about all of your favorite gems. Gemstones of the World by Walter Schumann is a great quick reference for pretty much any gem you can think of and many that you never would. In fact, it now features over 1900 varieties. It's the place to go if you want to, say, get the specs on charcoalite or figure out where you might stumble on beryllinite. By contrast, the Gemstones Handbook by Callie Hall focuses only on the more popular varieties, but it covers general topics you're likely to explore in more depth once you're a student. We're talking about stuff like crystal systems and natural inclusions, a gemologist's bread and butter. If you want to go even further, Gemology by Peter G. Reed is practically a textbook of gemology concepts and testing techniques. It's definitely a great tool for a future student. We'll include links below, and we're not getting paid for many of these, by the way. Beyond books, you can find lots of info online, and that's actually a big problem. We're far from being anti-web, but gems have always been a magnet for wild theories and legends. It wasn't really that long ago that people actually thought tourmaline came from cat urine. Misinformation can still get passed along today on sites run by enthusiastic hobbyists or sellers looking to make a quick buck. So it's important to get your info from reputable sources online. The American Gem Trade Association and the International Colored Stones Association are highly recommended. Their friends know them as AGTA and ICA respectively. Of course, we also have a website and our goal is to make it the most reliable and comprehensive gem site on the web. It's gemstones.com. We've got all sorts of articles and features, including a gemopedia. Be sure to check it out. Okay, that's the last shameless plug, I promise. Once you've gotten your feet wet and you're certain that gemology is the discipline for you, there are two organizations you'll wanna look at for top level certification that is recognized within the industry and around the world, GIA and GEMA. GIA is short for the Gemological Institute of America. They're a nonprofit institute with campuses, laboratories, and research centers around the world. They also offer classes online. Their Graduate Gemologist Diploma, or GG, is a widely recognized industry standard for gemologists. To earn this diploma, you must complete and pass five course studies and three lab classes, which are divided almost evenly between diamonds and color gems. This usually takes about 18 months and scholarships are available. Before graduating, you have to pass a 20 stone final exam where you're given, you guessed it, 20 unnamed stones to identify. The only passing score here is 100% and anything else and you'll have to take it all over again. And you thought Elden Ring was unforgiving. GEM-A is the Gemological Association of Great Britain. 
And since they're British, they get to add an extra letter to gemology. But they offer classes online to anyone, no matter your own spelling proclivities. You can get their diploma in gemology. Once you receive this, you can take a membership in the association with the lofty title of Fellow of the Gemological Association, or FGA. But first, you'll have to take a foundation course that lasts about six months. Here, you'll study many gem-related topics, like the creation of synthetics and the many ways light can interact with gem materials. After this is a diploma course, which lasts another six months and dives even deeper. You'll be learning about how color is created on a molecular level and the geology behind gem formation. You'll also spend a lot of time working with an array of general testing tools, polariscopes, refractometers, spectroscopes, and the like. The prize at the end of the rainbow here are three exams, two on theory and one on identification. Each exam is over two hours long and consists of lots of handwriting. Trust me, your wrist is going to hate you after these. While you don't have to get 100% on any of these tests to pass, it's hardly a walk in the park. Less than 50% of students pass on their first attempt. Now you're probably asking, GMA, GIA, which is better? Well, it's like Coke or Pepsi, you have to make up your own mind. We've had great gemologists here with either diploma, and some of us even like to have both. So you've got your education, you've got your diploma, now what? There are many professional avenues open to a gemologist, some you may never have thought of. Obviously, working as a buyer or seller of jewels and gems is a quite popular career destination. But gemologists also work as appraisers, lapidaries, customs officials, museum curators, and even YouTube hosts. There are so many career possibilities for gemology that we can't possibly cover all of them in this video. Do I sense a part two coming on? If you'd be interested in that, let us know in the comments. And if we've given you something to think about, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so we can stick together on this journey. See you next time.